Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be testing out whether these Daily Vanity Beauty Awards winners are worth the hype. If you guys don't know the Daily Vanity Beauty Awards, you really should go and check them out because they have a ton of categories. I think I counted about like 60 plus or 70 plus categories ranging from your makeup to your hair to your skincare, your body care and stuff like that. If you're in a fix to want to know what should I try out next, what are the products that have been raved by the experts as well as the readers, you should go and check it out. And what I like about this awards is that it's not only judged by experts themselves because a lot of the time I always see like, oh, you know, this product won this, 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 this kind of award. And I always find it a little bit hard to trust because I feel like beauty experts, even myself, like we are often not the full representative of daily people out there. You get what I mean? What I like about Daily Vanity's beauty awards, especially this year, is that they incorporated three different kinds of winners. One is for judges choice, another one is voted by readers. So you have readers choice and they even have one that is worth a shot, which means up and coming brands that are definitely worth trying out. And I like that it's not just one winner per category because everyone knows that we all have different preferences, different skin types. But I should start by telling you guys my skin type. I have dry and sensitive skin and I am slightly acne prone. I am 27, living in sunny Singapore with hot and humid weather and yeah. So I tested out a lot of products. Basically these are the products that have won the Daily Vanity Beauty Awards 2020. So let's dive right in. The first one is actually the first product that I tried from the entire stash. So this one is by this brand called New Shape. It's the BioCells Repair Mask, Deep Absorption Mask, Regenerative Intensive Repair, Skin Brightening and Tightening, and it's formulated by Medical Lab. If you ask me, I honestly have never seen or heard of this brand before. It doesn't mean that their products are not good. Um, I'm a huge fan of sheet masks and the first impression was how it was such good Good quality like the biocellulose of the sheet mask is extremely thick but it still sits on the skin very very well and it really hugged onto every single crevice of my face the best thing about this is that once I removed it I did feel my skin becoming really really soft significantly much brighter as well as and the best thing is it didn't leave me with a lot of sticky residue I know a lot of you guys who like to use sheet masks you always ask me do I wash off the residue after. The answer is you're not supposed to but a lot of you guys also cannot stand the whole stickiness or the whole shiny film that it leaves. This one definitely does not do it for you. Even though I have eczema and sensitive skin, this one did not aggravate it or irritate it. In fact, I felt that it really helped to soothe and calm it down. It's also really good for people with acne or inflammation on your face. This is really good for your sunburn. It's really good for post laser. Even after you have done like kind of aesthetic treatments. The next skincare product which you guys have already seen in my vlog is the Akin Certified Organic Rose Hip 100% Natural Oil. Rose Hip Oil actually has a lot of skin benefits whenever you apply it in your face. And the thing about this brand is it is 100% organic, 100% natural, especially when it comes to oils. If you can, just go for the purest, purest form. I really like this firstly for the scent. It is not perfumed, but when you apply it in your skin, it does make you feel a lot more relaxed. Personally, really love it because it helps my skin just feel so much more moisturized. It also contains omega-3, 6 and 9. It helps to nourish and hydrate your skin, helps to reduce the appearance of scars and stretch marks as well. And it is also fast absorbing. Rosehip oil is an extremely potent antioxidant and it also contains vitamins inside, so it helps to protect your skin from the environment. Environment. And one thing to note about this particular product is that this company uses the CO2 extraction method which apparently helps to extract the goodness of the rosehip oil in its most purest form. How I like to use it is after my toner, my essences, my serums, then I'll go in with one layer of oil. All you need is just two drops. Put it in between your palms, warm it up and just 
pat on your skin. People with dry skin, you will love the glow that this comes with. Like, it's just instantly glowy. Next up, I literally took this out of my shower. It's the Bioderma 24 Hours Ultra Nourishing Anti-Irritation Shower Oil. So the thing about Bioderma, they're really good for people with sensitive skin, especially their micellar waters. I have very, very dry and sensitive skin, even on my body. In fact, I have eczema on my body. I have tried a lot of shower oils in the market and I gotta say that this is my favorite. I like it that it's not extremely oily and once I rinse it off, my skin feels very soft and nourished. If you guys use shower oil before, you know that even after rinsing it, you do still have a film of oil. Like this one doesn't do it for you and uh, it's really good for sensitive skin. Next one is an eye cream. I love my eye creams because I'm starting to see fine lines and I never used to have really bad eye circles but now with age it is showing <laughs> so this one is from Uriage it's their age protect multi-action eye contour eye cream i gotta say when i first saw it in the box i was like mm, it just looks like a very clean medicinal kind of packaging like the first time i used it i was so blown away like the texture just feels like a really thin sheer butter kind of texture. It is luxurious, it is very creamy, it's kind of cold to the touch but it is actually really thin and lightweight and once you apply it on your eyes, you feel like it instantly helps to plump up your eyes. I also have been seeing the skin around my eyes become a lot more hydrated and it's also helped with my fine lines quite a bit and it has blue light protection which is extremely real these days. And one thing is the packaging because it's like in a pump form, you can get very precise amounts like this so you don't have a lot of wastage. I recommend this. Next up, cha! It's the Dr. Lewin's Private Formula Sensitive Cleansing Milk Day and Night. It is like in a pump form. So it really is like a milk. So the texture just feels like a very, very nice whipped milk. It's extremely comfortable on the skin. It's really good for people with sensitive skins. It has soybean oil, that's one of the main ingredients. Glycerin, satyryl alcohol, which is a really good kind of fatty alcohol. It's not the drying kind of alcohol, so don't be mistaken. These are all really, really good and nourishing ingredients for people with extremely dry skin. Honestly, I feel like this is really good as a morning cleanser. For people who like to use a lot of makeup, I would still say that this might be a little bit too gentle for you to remove all of your makeup. I would still recommend going in with like a micellar water like two or three times. Make sure all of your makeup is off before you go in with this. We have this Be Glen Nudie Veil Makeup Primer. I have also honestly never heard of this brand before, but once I tried it, I'm like, oh my goodness, guys, y'all really, really need to try this. This is a makeup primer. It has a nude kind of color, but once you spread it out, it kind of has a velvety, smooth consistency. It just blends into your pores. Like, it just makes your pores and fine lines just go away. It's really really nice to wear underneath your makeup and the best thing is it has SPF 36 PA++ so this one is an additional SPF that you can apply before you apply your makeup. I would still recommend applying sunscreen underneath this so that you get a full broader spectrum of protection. It helps you to just prime your face for makeup. Makeup glides on so much nicer. It also lasts very very long and I want to read out about this and apparently it has a technology called stretch veil effect that enables your makeup to fit seamlessly onto your skin. Makeup won't smudge or settle into pores and fine lines or appear uneven. I honestly was so blown away because the first day I tried it, I intentionally put like foundation. Even though I'm at home all the time now, it really did not budge. So I highly, highly recommend this. I think it's very underrated. <laughs> I also saw this which I thought was extremely interesting, so I decided to try it out. This is called Glove. It's a skin smoothing body massage glove. It uses bamboo fiber and it helps with anti-cellulite. It also helps to exfoliate your skin gently and it helps to give you a good massage. This is the pink color one and it has two holes over here which you're supposed to just put your thumb through. So once you put your thumb through and you can just massage it. I've used it for a couple of times 
times now and I gotta say that I actually really love it. I have very sensitive skin, right? Especially on my body. So if you have eczema or if you have broken skin, I do not recommend you to go over the areas. You can use your favorite body wash and in the shower, you just have to pump your body wash and just use it as if it's your hand, you know? And then you just like go in circular motion. Your skin will come out really baby butt smooth after that. It helps to improve your blood circulation. It helps to scrub off the dead skin cells. It leaves your skin tight, toned and glowy. I can actually attest to this. I have been loving it. It's so unassuming and it's actually really, really cute. Oh yeah, and one thing though, I've tried to use it with a shower oil. I do not recommend it because a shower oil don't actually foam up that much. So I would recommend you going in with a body wash that can lather a little bit so that you have a little bit more lubricant while you're massaging your skin. Next up, my Avain Zero Calm AD Lipid Replenishing Cream. This one has won so many awards, especially for people with sensitive skin in the body care category. And it's not difficult to see why. I have been a huge fan of this. You guys know I've talked about this time and time again. It has a really cool technology. It's actually really interesting because it is completely air sealed. Basically, there is no preservatives inside, so they came up with this very innovative bottle cap that helps to store and ensure that all the content inside is active. Honestly, this one is a very, very thick and nourishing body cream that is really good for people with sensitive skin or skin problems like eczema, psoriasis, rosacea and stuff like that. And it really helps to just repair your skin barrier and give your skin a lot, a lot of moisture and nourishment. But if you have normal skin or if you don't live in a very, very cold climate, you might find that this might be a bit too thick for you. So it really depends on your skin type and what your preference is. Next up, I have these. They are so interesting and really cute. They're from the Feisty Cheek. These are actually stamp eyeliner set. Each set comes with two products. So one eyeliner stamp that allows you to stamp on your wings and another one which is an eyeliner. One is the sleek wing liner set and the other one is the sassy wing liner set. The wing stamps have kind of different heights and lengths to them depending on how you want your eyeliner wing to go. And I gotta say they are extremely easy to use. This is like almost idiot proof. But with this, you cannot say that you don't know how to apply your eyeliner or create a wing eyeliner anymore because you have your stamps that are so conveniently labeled left and right. All you have to do is just look straight into a mirror, look at where your eyes end and just stamp it right there and then use the eyeliner to connect the rest of the eyes. Like it literally took me just 10 seconds to do both eyes today. I actually think it's extremely brilliant and it's a local company as well so if you would like to support. So that brings us to the end of our video. Overall, I really like most of the products that I've tried out of the Daily Vanity Beauty Awards winners. I feel like I can see why they are all either judges' choices, readers' choices or worth a shot because they're all really products that work. So if I have to choose my favourites out of this entire video, Video. The first one would be my Uriash H Protect Multi Action Eye Contour Cream. This is extremely good. Second one would be my Be Glen Nude Veil Makeup Primer. If I have to choose just one more that I think it's you know really really worth trying out, perhaps it would be this Rose Hip Oil by Akin because. I feel like it has made quite a big difference in my skin ever since incorporating it in my skincare routine. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Check out the description box below and I'll see you next time. Bye! It's not for me to say